The structure of Kilo magma chamber. We have a lot of volcanoes erupting at the moment, or the reports of them get uh, reached to the audience that it interest, is interested in this. You, a lot of them you see in this example. Kilowa is one of them. This is the Halo Mau Mau example of it uh, in that uh, big island of Hawaii. Very interesting, and it is exceptional in that sense that actually we have now research which lets us see what is going on exactly under the volcano. We have a 3D image. We know that this is a hot uh, spot magma uh, volcanism that is creating this from the region between the outer core and mantle. A uh, convection cell rises with a heated material. It's not molten unless it is uh, the pressure is removed from it. And the cracks that are created remove the pressure and that creates the melt we call magma and that magma erupts as lava as we see as the plates move because the heat plum or the hot spot is a stationary like a torch uh, stands there and create this chain of islands like the I hawaii now we in this new research we are actually able to see and track this pathway of the magma from the within the crust from the mantle to the crust deeper ones we don't know yet but how we do this that is interesting i want to go back to the example of the fagredesville volcano in iceland where we had these harmonic tremors the tremors in the volcano are completely different to what we see in the tremors due to the earthquake movements the movements of the plates and falling of the faults and everything else these earthquakes tiny tremors are created by nothing but bubbles of gas inside the uh, magma chamber magma chamber has molten rock in it and they have dissolved a lot of material when the pressure is removed from them they create these bubbles you can see in this example in this experiment the bubbles that are created then they burst and the burst of them the bigger ones create the smaller ones the bigger tremors create the smaller tremors which are more numerous than the bigger ones every big bubble breaks down to 10 more and this creates this uh, tremors that we actually are able to listen to them and map the structure of the a magma chamber and the feeder ducts that uh, are led to it is in a way is very similar to our human digestive system when we can listen actually or you can feel it how the gas moves inside your body we are doing basically the same here